Hey guys, it's George Florida Parks After Dark. I'm with my one partner in crime. Kenzie. Addie's home, taking a little, getting ready for um, college orientation. So we are on our way from, of course, Animal Kingdom. And we're on our way to today, Destino Tower. Yes, it's a Destino Tower day. The reason why we've been there a while back. We haven't been there in a long time, and I gotta tell you, for kind of a, a mid-range resort, Coronado Springs is great. Destino Tower is next level awesome. So we're blowing our way up here to go. Um, we're flying up Oceala Parkway right now. And if you've noticed, there's not many people here. It is a dead week. It's awesome. It is just low-key, fine, and he broke it in Central Florida, so it's a good day all around. So we're heading up. So right now, um, it, is, it is a Saturday, and it ain't shabby out here. So again, we've talked about that before, there's what we call gap weeks. Weeks where there's a lot of people who come, and then the next week there's a gap because everybody kind of spends their money on the holiday weekend. The last weekend was Memorial Day. So this is the weekend post Memorial Day. Gearing up for people actually come for summer. So it's just, it's different. So, it's a good time to come. If you're looking at your calendar, planning your trip, you know with Florida Parks After Dark, our big thing is how do you make your trip to Orlando and Disney really the best it can be at the best price possible. So, hint, hint, hint. Florida Parks After Dark tip of the day, what we want, I'm sure. Come after a major holiday or a major Disney event because there's a gap. So, we're in our gap. We're now turning, we're on World Drive, and we're heading down straight in. Now we just gotta kinda zigzag in and out to get the Coronado, it's kinda tucked in the back corner here. Um, so we'll flip flop and get our butts there. But it's not that bad. What we're gonna do, get the Coronado. Coronado is, if I had a criticism, Coronado Springs at the Casino Tower, is a little removed from the main, main drive. Um, it's kind of the main area. Hotel's easy to access, it's easy to get to places, it's close to everything. The casino isn't far, but there's no straight line to get there. That would be my only risk. But we are exiting at um, Epcot Resort area, so this Epcot and Epcot Resort area are very different things. The next exit is Epcot for us, off World Drive here. So there's a two lane to go right to the Epcot gates. No and those are bucks. You can't scoot around. This is an exit before that shoots up and goes by all the hotels that service the kind of Epcot area. And they really did a nice job. There's a lot of real nice hotels in. Um, so, sorry, I made an oh, so <laughs> on direction. <laughs> so, this also allows you to make U turns. And we'll be making one in about one second. Um, so, really, up here, so excited about the, about the Epcot Resort area. I kept coming back to it versus going the other way. Um, we're gonna flip around here and go back. But as we flip around, if we were to make the left here, the Dolphin Swan of that way, Swan Reserve is there. And, you will see in a second, Fantasia Gardens Golf is right there. Great golf course, we gotta get on that course and play. Um, there's all that, the Swan Reserve is right there. All Marriott property, so it is definitely uh, a different kind of vibe because it's not Disney Hotel, so they're not themed out. They're very nice hotels, uh, different price points, but they're not all themed out. If you were to keep going kind of over there, you have obviously Boardwalk Beach Club and Yacht Club, and they are themed out and they're very Disney. So. Six hotels, very close to the Epcot Ball, um, lots of different ways to get from those hotels to Epcot or Magic So it's, it's, a, it's a nice area. I would say it's one of my favorite areas. 
and in the distance, about one second flat, you're going to see where we're going. So right there, behind those trees, <laughs> is the steam tower. That's our closest thing to where we're going. But it's pretty darn awesome. So we're good there. And right now, guys, the one little busy does have, and we take it very seriously, as they do, we do not record going through garbage so with that said guys thank you very much we were literally five minutes including a u-turn in Mano kingdom again everything is closed in disney you guys take care of a fantastic day like this video subscribe to our channel because that tower is going to be up in the vlog ever so soon and it is an awesome place you guys take care